Hello everyone, I am Tacit and welcome to the Gems of War, soon to be campaign 18, week zero, day four. So today, of course, um, a few days until next campaign. Uh, main thing we'll be doing today is trying to finish up all events, uh, not for next campaign, but for a uh, vault event weekend. So of course, a uh, vault event weekend is, well, this weekend, uh, with it starting in, uh, it should be whatever the timer is right here, like 60-ish hours, uh, right there, six hours and 53 minutes. So, um, yep, definitely make sure to go and grind that uh, this weekend if you have the time. And uh, we definitely will be. Probably go for standard grind, but we'll go a little bit deeper. We'll see. But if nothing, I do want to get a surplus of verses this time around. I definitely want to leave this time with more verses than what we had going into it. So, that will be uh, the game plan this weekend. But, of course, we got to wait about seven hours until we can uh, start to do so. Uh, anyways, so uh, with that being said... We basically want to finish up as far as we can into every single possible event, as well as PvP and everything. So we want to make sure that we're top 3 PvP, which we should still be. Actually, we're still top 2 by quite a margin, so we don't really need to worry about that. If anything, we just try to take it first, but no, I'm happy with second. But uh, we'll get a little bit more points towards that. Uh, we'll finish out all the events that we can. Obviously, we can't like finish finish any of them. Uh, but, you know, progress is still uh, going to help out a lot. Uh, more we do now, less we'll have to do later. Oh, a Loco's back in the guild. Oh, nice. Very nice. Anyways, uh, hello, everyone, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let's start from the top. Hello, Mark. Hello, Jonian. Hello, yeah. Hello, Nightmare. Uh, hello, Logic Slayer. Hello, Tyrion. Hello, Kikolier. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Azala. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hello, uh, Cookie. Hello, Draco. Uh, hello, Logic Slayer. Uh, hello, hello, Sushi Ninja. And hello, Vernas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so. Yeah, I saw a loco there. Welcome, welcome. Not sure if he's here here, but welcome back, oh, loco. <laughs> Not sure if he's here right now. But he's definitely here in the guild. Alright, um... Where should we even start? I'm not sure. Let's just do raids. Let's go from one to the other. Doesn't really matter what we do as long as we do it all. That is the game plan. Hey, immediate vow raven. Nice. Yeah, every little bit we can. Actually, let me kill the raid guy first, just in case. Sketchier things have happened. Also, hello, Logic Slayer. Hello, Chris. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Valorant's still alive. Uh, just in case, I'm going to do that. Actually, I could just kill him outright, but that gives us man accumulation. But not as much as uh, Thrall would have. Also, I would love if this thing got full mana. There we go. It is. Oh, <gasps> no! Wait, 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 wait. Hold, 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 hold. I think I just lost the Valorant. Not because uh, it ran away, but because it ran away. <laughs> it didn't run away because it casted. It ran away from terror. And I just realized, um, I think there's still a glitch where killing with terror doesn't give you sigils. So we just lost two sigils. Oh, no, 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 never mind. We're fine. We're fine. False alarm. The Vow Raven is dead. Someone mentioned that earlier. I haven't actually seen it happen until just now, but someone was mentioning earlier that they... Terror to Val Raven and lost their sigils. We just did it. I'm not sure when they might have fixed it. But we just did it and we got the sigils. Because that was a terror runaway on the um on the Val Raven, but we still got the two sigils. So maybe they fixed it with that small PvP update they did or something, I'm not sure. But uh we terrored it and it still gave us the two sigils. But it almost did it. <laughs> but no, it did what it was supposed to do, luckily. The glitch would have been if it didn't do that. <laughs> but no, we Terra killed the Val Raven and we still got two sigils. False alarm. It does work correctly. Not sure if it did in the past, but it does now. Hello, Stacy. Welcome, welcome. All right, you need mana. So why not get everyone full mana? Honestly, every event related to Darkstone this week, if you have the Nebula Dragon thing, it is just so free. He is so good for them. I was trying to run away again. <laughs> well, at least we know for sure it will give us sigils if it does. Oh, I died a Deathmark. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Will Deathmark work this time? 
Does killing a, a Val Raven with a Death Mark still fine? Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. Killed it with Terror, killed it with Death Mark. Doesn't matter how you kill it, it still counts. Nice to see it working correctly. Because there's been a lot of glitches in the past that has made Val Raven not give sigils. But it does seem like most, if not all, of them have been fixed by now. Which is always good to see. It's one of those things underneath other changes whenever they post it in, like, a change log, that that's generally in the category of. <laughs> because there's been at least a dozen different Val Raven glitches in the past, all resulting in not getting the sigils. Uh, Isabel, where are you mentioning? Give us your gold. Oh, have I not done any gold yet this week? I'll do that. Yeah, if I don't remember to do it on Monday, I'll never do it at any point during the week. Well, not never, but you know what I mean. Because I just assume that by the time um, Monday is done, that I have already donated it. <laughs> and if I haven't, I just assume all week it's like, oh yeah, I already did it on Monday. Let's do that right now, I guess, real quick. Oh, more coins. Should I buy them? Nah, I used to buy all of them, but they're so useless these days. Alright, let me go uh, donate gold to guild. Oh yeah, we have a class event today. I guess we'll do it for 25 free gems. You know, we'll even do an extra million since we're late here. Three million. How much are we up to right now? What's our total? Uh, let's see. Because we're going to do a mega donation to the guild... If we can ever get to the point where, um... Also, I didn't realize we're starting to push pretty close to 2,000. I kind of forgot. We're 1,909. <laughs> I keep forgetting. We're only like 100 levels away. Well, technically less than. I didn't claim my seals either. Don't all fairness, I never claim my seals. <laughs> it's kind of pointless, too. Well, I shouldn't say pointless, pointless. But, uh, I don't know. I always forget to. It's just people have access to purple orbs. So, like, half the guild could not donate it. And there'll still be, you know, you can still push it up if you really need to. But anyways, uh, it's only really important if you know it's like a, 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 like a new Mythic Week or something similar. But yeah, my plan was to donate like pretty much the rest of our gold whenever we're within threshold of getting the rest. And we're getting pretty close. We have, what, 126 million left? And we need to get 160 million or so? Which means we only need like 30, 40 million so, or so more. And we're just going to donate our whole cash stack at once to push all the way to 1 billion. But yeah, that's why we're hoarding all of our gold, by the way. And in case they drop some kind of feature, but I highly doubt they will be. That is like an ultra gold sink. But it's mostly just to dump a huge amount of gold. When we're kind of within that threshold. Hey, we have an XP booster we can use today. I actually do have to use that one today. Because the rest I want to use during Volt Weekend just for convenience. Alright, PvP. We're already going to do some of that today. You know what? Let's do PvP next. Why not? Switch it up a little. Um, We got no good locations. And by that, I mean we have Central Spire, as always. <laughs> So, uh, that's good. Uh, I guess we'll go for extra purple. It doesn't even matter what buff I go for, though. I can just go for an easier one. Honestly, that battle's not that hard. Oh, did I say extra purple? I mean extra yellow. Yeah, let's go get extra yellow magic real quick. We could technically just go for a super easy one. Something I haven't really considered doing. Because if we're not really utilizing the buff, which we normally aren't, we could simply just, um... Go for a super easy one, like, team-wise. As far as our comp. Like, we can literally go to Central Spire, just use whatever, and just kill it out like it's nothing. If we really, really wanted to. I haven't bothered doing it that way yet. I always go for the buff because, uh, you know, we're utilizing it for some amount of time. But for the amount of extra time it would take to kill something like this, when we could just be running, like, um, you know, Stellarix. <laughs> There's quite a difference in the speed at which this team wins compared to Stellarix. Just a little. Just a slight difference of uh, a lot of the time. I should technically even double buff today. Because if I double buff today, that's one less I have to do tomorrow. So we're actually going to do that. Might as well. After we get our Valhawks, we'll buff again. Though that one we'll do on something super easy because I'm not even using that benefit. I'm going to go like Central Spire with uh, Stellarix build or something. I think that'll be our game plan. So I'll do this one for a good buff and then actually utilize it. But then we're going to just get like the worst buff ever. Because I'm not going to utilize that at all. But we're doing it just for the victory tokens and nothing else. And I'm still hoarding them for um, whenever they finally do the whole VP system thing. 
Obviously, there's a VP system now, but I mean, they're going to be doing like a league system and stuff like that. Where you're like monthly or multi monthly or however long the duration is going to be. However much VP you earn within that time might give you some additional rewards. Whereas right now, the only reward to get from is the weekly one. And of course, your um, weekly 6,500 thing. First day in Eloko's already at the top of our raid. Did he do that much raid already? Wow. That is quite a lot. Especially since we had quite a few people with decent amount of contribution. For him to already take first in like a day. Yeah, we'll throw down this buff, go get our three Valhawks, go throw down a useless buff while using uh, Stellarix build. But obviously talk Shaka and all that. You guys know the build. <laughs> you know the build. If I even just mention Stellarix, do I even need to mention that it's with talk Shaka? <laughs> kind of just implied. Unless it's a restriction where you can't. I said hello, hello, go. Welcome, welcome. Hope all has been well. Welcome back. I said hello now to Stewart. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we're in the hard fight right now, aren't we? Oh no, this is the second to last fight. This isn't even the hard one yet. We're not even necessarily hard. More so just bulky. Like the battle itself generally isn't that difficult. It just takes forever for it to die. <laughs> one HP, what are you doing? That's the second time now. Alright, this is the final one. Yeah, the reason why I want to throw my other ones down, normally I would stall it until we could do like a double buff. But, um, you know, double buff when we're basically forced to even a triple buff. However, the reason I want to use them now is uh, obviously we don't want to do them this weekend. Or at least try not to. Because we have the uh, Vault Event Weekend. So we are going to throw it a little bit earlier. We're not going to utilize it for anything at all. Because we already kind of have as much points as we need. Because one nice thing about the PvP update is no one's farming PvP anymore. <laughs> and because of that, all you have to do is play a small amount of PvP and you automatically take leaderboard. It's so much nicer than before. Like for a week or two there, we actually had to try doing PvP. But now you barely have to touch PvP and you still get leaderboard because no one's doing PvP. <laughs> because uh, obviously uh, the changes this week to PvP were uh, quite substantial to say the least. So I gotta be careful, we actually can lose this fight. I'm like playing this fight as if they has like no durability at all, but I could lose if we're too reckless. Actually, that thing's healing a lot. Oh, so yeah, we actually could lose this. He has AoE and everything else, too. Uh, I can Skull Drop there. Yeah, we'll go for it. I want to kill him all out before he gets a heal. Wisps can still do some damage, though. With all the charms. Kill that hero. Alright, I don't have enough to win here, but I just need to do that and then poke it. They can't really kill our whole team unless it gets absurdly lucky with skulls. Mana surge. Mana surge. Ah, it's not worth trying for. I was going to try for something off the sky there. It's not worth it. Oh, he didn't go for skull. Nice. Even if he did, we could just went for the mana there. Ah, there we go. That's a little more annoying than expected. And now we can just go to Central Spire, go get our three Valhawks, and be good to go. We'll just take the easiest fight, it's to kill it, rinse repeat, and then we'll run our Central Spire team on um, one of the Central buffs. I don't think I've ever actually bothered doing that before. I'm never sure what the Central buffs are, but I think it might be the same every single week for Central. Can't recall if any of them are remotely useful, though. Why do I feel like score reduction and spell reduction were two of them? Not sure if they were or not. But that sounds correct. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna farm Vault Event as soon as it comes out tonight. It comes out at 3 a.m. now because of the hour shift. And I will be grinding it throughout the day and everything. Oh, speaking of Alhawks. Even though I'm going for standard 300, I do want to get a surplus of, um, of versus this week. Like, in an ideal situation, I actually want to get, like, base 20s for my versus. Not sure if we're actually going to do that. But at bare minimum, I want to make sure we leave this weekend with 300 volt keys and more verses than what we started with. Oh, frozen up blue. Whoops. <laughs> I, I took that. It's like, oh yeah, we'll get extra turn. But uh, yeah, we kind of have to wand first. It's kind of why we have wand on the team. <laughs> Which just might be the reason why it's there. Just possibly. Just to actually click on it. Occasionally. There's a reason we're running hero with two Takshakas and not three Takshakas. I said hello the Wild King. Welcome, welcome. Oh, good night, El Loco. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Azala. I mean, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I was reading your comment while also not noticing the name. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Azala. Oh, psst. I do that every time. I don't know why. But whenever a star is next to yellow and purple, I just assume it can go together. And I don't understand why. <laughs> like, I don't generally make that mistake with elemental stars. Like, I don't think, like, a green and red can go in together with an elemental star. But for whatever reason, whenever I see yellow and purple, it's like, oh yeah, this star can go together. Oh, I actually got a burn kill. That doesn't happen too often. Alright, one Valhawk to go. Then we'll go throw three buffs on nothing. Which will feel really weird to do. I don't think we've ever done a day where we do double buff or like we use a set of buffs and then immediately do zero battles after <laughs> but I'm actually about to because we already have all the PvP rating we need this week I'm just doing it for the victory or not the victory points but those little victory point um um gosh what are they called they have a special name victory talisman I think is what they're called yeah victory talisman that's their name we have 120 we're about to have 126 we're doing it solely for that and no other reason. At least we'll get to be able to get some wacky buff that we normally don't have, even though we're not going to use it for a single battle. But if Central has something cool, maybe we'll go test it just real quick. I don't think it does anything interesting, though. I think it's just score reduction, dodge, and some other weird one. Like, I think it's all survivability stuff. Unless it changes from week to week, but I'm pretty sure it's the same each week. The last I recall was just a bunch of durability ones. Actually, one of them I don't think was, but two of them were. It feels weird clicking on a Beatrix infinite loop and being like, that's the weaker team. <laughs> it still feels weird. Actively clicking on a team that's strong and being like, yep, that one's weaker.
all that and no extra turn. Though in all fairness, we are frozen on literally everything. You might actually win here. You could still win here. Oh, now we can't. We even got an arcane from the fight. We still need one more, right? Yeah, we still. Still do. And I need that so I can actually go use the battles. Hey, let me go check. What were the three things? We have... Oh, yeah. Extra boss damage. Extra magic. Oh, wait. Never mind. These aren't the ones I thought they were. An extra life. Never mind. Not a single one of those is the ones I thought it was. I never have gotten the extra boss damage. I guess I'll go get it. Does that just give everything on your team five times damage against bosses? I guess so. That doesn't really have much of a use case, though. Unless someone's running, like, first thought Zolga or something. <laughs> Some other weird team. First of all, Zolgoth can work. It's just very rarely done these days. It's more useful for Guild War than anything. Or I should say, old Guild War. <laughs> Obviously, it's getting completely overhauled. Go for the talk shaka kills. No, that's a miss. He checks about to infinite loop and kill us. Hmm. I gotta take away its mana. Oh, that's a problem. We just died to essence of evil. <laughs> we died to essence of evil Beatrix, so that makes sense. More so the Beatrix part. Oh, no, essence of evil is still good though. Situational, but really good in those situations. At least that wasn't the Valhawk battle. Not that we lose it, but you know. Whole goal right now is to try to find a thing. Yeah, PvP still feels so weird as of this week. They're definitely going to still be tweaking it further from where it is right now. Though I kind of want to cover a video this weekend on some, like, low-rarity teams that could be ran in a new PvP system. Because obviously we've been running, like, absurdly high-rarity stuff. But I kind of want to go over some Central Spire teams that are super cheap. Because there's a good handful of them that can work. That don't even use a single Mythic. They do use some Legends, though. It's kind of hard doing any PvP right now without at least Legends, though. Alright, so now that we have those buffs, uh, let's go do something super free. Like, uh, what are the buffs for red? Well, it doesn't really matter what buff we get. Extra purple magic. Wait, really? You want magic for each purple ally? Ah, sure. This one's actually good. Wait, <laughs> this is the normal one we'd already grab. I could just do it with standard team. I yeah, might as well. As a lower found, I've been doing pretty good today. Stayed very hydrated today. <laughs> I think I'm up to like five orders now. I've been really thirsty today. So excited for Monday? What's happening on Monday? We have new campaign. We have... And this is something not related to game. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll throw that down. Oh, so we are technically getting another 30-star Magic Kingdom, too. Most people won't have access to it, though.
And by that, I don't just mean uh, the deeds, but also uh, if it's actually locked behind a money weapon. It's your birthday! Nice! Now, if you want, we'll sing happy birthday for you this Monday, then. I'll probably be streaming a little bit longer on Monday, too. We have to start the campaign. We have, um... Actually, what grind do we have on Monday? I don't even remember. Yeah, it might go a little longer on Monday, we'll see. Because I say that as if the campaign will take any amount of time. <laughs> campaign, I, I keep forgetting. Campaign takes zero seconds these days. It is literally a zero time event. Like, as long as you just play even just basic dailies, you will automatically get campaign done every week. I still have, like, the old mindset and, like, oh, it's gonna take, like, 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> But, uh, no, it literally takes zero seconds. Effectively. And now that we have all that magic buff, now we can proceed to not use it. <laughs> we have all this extra magic, and now we can go and not use it all. Wonderful. Because I already have second, and I don't really feel like pushing first. We could, but, uh, nah. <laughs> we could, but, uh, no. I had my fill of PvP for the week. Of the new system, I think. Let's focus on, uh, Volt- No, let's focus on Volt Week- No! <laughs> well then, that's, uh, like, the two worst ones. Wait, why do I have two sets of cleanse? I need a cleanse, and then I need a cleanse, but I didn't realize I already had a cleanse, so now I have two cleanse. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Where I accidentally have two team- or two, uh, sets of metal set to cleanse. That's really funny. The first time it was like, oh, I didn't have one, so I need to go build one. The second time is, oh, I didn't realize I had one, so let me go build one. <laughs> Alright, oh, uh, oh, oh, gosh. Hopefully silence isn't too annoying. We'll take the hardest one first. <coughs> was Tyrion slacking again? <laughs> No, I think we're on pace to still get it done really easily. Though it does make sense to get all your battles done before week Vault Weekend. If you have any stockpiled. Well, that's a bit of a miss. Go Luck? What, is he at zero? Is he mega slacking? Oh, so hello, Bill Warhammer, by the way. Welcome, welcome. All right, well, let's go check. Let's see, how, how... What level of slack do we have here? Oh, he's doing fine. For a second, I thought he was going to be this number. <laughs> no, he's doing fine. He's not that low. Well, it does look like that'd be two or three days not done. Well, it depends what tier he bought. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't even finish my raids. I thought we did already. Apparently not. I'm gonna finish raids and then we'll go do, um... The rest of, uh, what's it called? Dungeon. Keep switching modes, I gotta keep switching mindset of how we have to play each battle. Oh, in all fairness, this play's pretty similar to any Thrall team. Cast Thrall, click damage, repeat. Alright, we did that, we did that. Uh, we're fin- Oh, we have actually have a good one today? I didn't actually see what that was earlier. Uh, so we, we finished that. Let's go finish out Dungeon. Check out the hardest one first, so it should be pretty easy from here, in theory. Oh no! Everything's silence! Are we gonna have a killing spree? Are they all just gonna die? Let's see what happens here. I didn't even realize that was extra turn. Mana surge. No! We can still win with that, though. Mana surge. Mana surge. 
What is this battle? This is a very strange battle going on here. Right, finally, we have mana. Never mind, we had mana. Very short-lived. At some point, we'll regain mana. At some point, the wild card will land on a color we have to use. Final one. That's hello, Imperial. Welcome, welcome. There we go. This is what we want to see. I just click Stellar a few times. Still find it insane that you got two copies of that mythic? And you were mind blown? Wait, which mythic? Oh, you mean, um, Takshaka? Oh yeah, two plus Takshaka is insane. It's one of those few troops where, uh, two or three is substantially better than one. One of the other pretty noteworthy ones of that is Ironhawk, of course. Where it's like two completely different teams when you have, uh, two to three compared to one. Like, they're not even comparable. Because one Iron Hawk is basically useless. <laughs> Three Iron Hawks is the meta for this weekend. They can still get away with two. And it's pretty similar with Takshaka. Though unlike uh, Iron Hawk, uh, there's a lot more better teams for two Takshaka compared to two Iron Hawk. Alright, uh, dailies. Oh yeah, we have Clash Trial. Do I bother for 25 gems? Hey, I gotta remember to use our last two Volkies. Might as well do that now, actually. But yeah, we'll probably run the uh, class event real quick. We have it for, what, Darkstone humans? So the team is, what, triple throw into weapon? I'm willing to make a bet that's the exact team I mentioned on Monday. <laughs> Knowing me, <laughs> that is almost guaranteed the exact team we mentioned. That or was a weapon, some other damage source with two uh, throws. So the reason I didn't mention that team is the best damage source to do it that way would have been the dragon, and that's too expensive. So I just went with triple throw. Otherwise, the team would have been weapon, uh, dragon, double throw. Which actually might be what we just run for. The oh, wait. Never mind. You can't run dragon. That's why I didn't put dragon on the team. Besides from it being too high a rarity. I forgot. It's only humans. So I ended up just opting for triple throw. <laughs> because honestly, the humans in Dark uh, in, um, yeah, Darkstone aren't that good. Like, we go to Darkstone and we go to human. Like, ignoring throw. There's not much to work with here. Too slow, too slow, too slow, too slow. What do you do again? Too slow. Too slow. I guess Magnus, but if you're running Black Mana Gold, it's kind of redundant. If you're running Dawnbringer, I guess you could do that. You can run uh, Dawnbringer... Uh, what would the team be? It'd be Dawnbringer, Magnus, Double Thrall. Or sorry, one of your Thralls would be in front of the Magnus. So it'd be Dawnbringer, Thrall, Magnus, Thrall. In that order. Well, let's just do that for fun, I guess. Let's just switch it up a little. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, uh, Clash Trial. I don't use Magnus too often. It's not a horrible troop, it's just... There's almost no use case for it. Compared to stronger options. Like, earlier on in the game, when you don't have those stronger options, it's still perfectly fine for a lot of things. Yeah, that would be the team. And then, um... Mark Mages? Yeah, why not? Actually, I'll make a Frost Mage. And then we'll set our banner into purple-blue, because I still need plus one um, purple. Because I'm running one less Thrall. So I need uh, plus two blue, plus one purple, minus one something we don't use. Like that, for example. The Midnight uh, Kingdom banner. Actually, I think this is the first time I've even used this banner. Now that I think about it. Because I don't think I've ever used the Midnight banner since it came out. Or if I did, maybe once total. Probably the week it came out, just so I could show it with a team. Maybe anyway, I haven't really messed with Midnight banner yet. There's not too many teams that need it. It's very rare that you would need a plus two uh, blue, plus one purple. It's not a particularly common color combination you would need. I 
You know, like every, any color combination, it comes up eventually. But the reason we need the plus one purple on this team is to make sure uh, we still have plus three. So whenever we take a purple, even if we don't surge, we will guarantee a full mana for Thrill. So simply taking a purple is a 100% chance full mana regardless. Unless we get disease, but that's generally not going to happen. Actually, I don't even think there is disease in this mode. Must be somehow Lincoln Thropy and they get something that can. Which is absurdly unlikely. Though technically possible because we are running Magnus. And one of his effects is he posts a, uh, he applies a random uh, status effect onto an enemy. Which means he can put Lincoln Thropy on something. And then that unit gets... Um, uh, becomes something that has disease. And then that thing that has disease hits Thrall. And then Thrall can't take one purple to get full mana. But those uh, amount of events occurring is pretty much never going to happen. <laughs> so we'll be fine. There's no chance every single one of those circumstances will align. So for all intents and purposes, yes. He will always get it when he takes a purple. Let's guarantee full mana so we don't have to worry about having to take two. Right, one set down, three to go. We get our 25 gems. And then, what do we still have left? We did the two Volkies. Oh, I gotta go do all of Underspire. That's the other big thing left. Gotta use up every last sigil we have. Which I think we used all of our yesterday, so we just have to use today's sigils then. I haven't handed out a code yet. Let me go do one. I'll hand out the other one a little bit uh, as we go through Underspire. That's me. How many codes do we have left? Oh, Val Raven. Uh, we have a handful left. What's today's date? The 21st. How many days are in this month? 31? I believe so. So 10 more days, but that many codes. Yeah, I think we have enough. There might be a day or two where we have to hand out one instead of two. Also, this does assume that we'll get more codes on the first of next month. Which is a bold assumption. <laughs> that we will actually get it on exactly the first. Because very rarely does that actually happen. Yeah, you can use Possessed King for to offset the mana as well. It's just a bit harder to get extra turns in um, this mode as they get three back to back to back. But generally speaking, <laughs> it normally is harder. This is a bit of a lucky starting board. Oh, you know what? Uh, that's so annoying. One thing I hate about the Takshaka team is every battle I ever do now, I'm like waiting for my instant and power to trigger. <laughs> every single battle, I'm just like waiting around, sometimes just taking whatever. Because you do that with Takshaka team just to pass your turn as quickly as possible. You'll just take whatever on the board. And then I'm just like waiting like, oh yeah, when's our um, free and power going to come in <laughs> with the wild cards? I'm like waiting on Enchant, waiting on him. And it never comes because it's not on our team. I just kind of assume it from any team we run now. Even when not running him. There's so many ways to just alternatively get mana these days. I remember when getting a Surge on a 3 pier was one of the only few ways you could really like get mana advantage. When mana Surge chance actually mattered. Nowadays, there are a billion and a half ways to get more mana than you ever know what to do with. Now, Raven. Oh wait, I just realized. No, 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 never mind. I thought we got Val Raven luck already. We're on section three, not four. I was gonna say that's way too many than how many we should have. That would explain it. Wrong number.
trying for throw out man and we got everything else don't even need him it's good because we actually need that damage what's hello ginky welcome 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 Oh yeah, Isabel was mentioning on the other stream. Uh, Genki, would you be interested in doing a co-op island for Pal World at any point? Because I might be starting one somewhat soon with uh, Isabel, potentially Cookie. I'm not sure if Cookie even knows about that yet. <laughs> you and whoever else. I'm not sure how many we can have on an island. But I didn't mean to start that up potentially in the next um, upcoming weeks. Particularly around the time of the patch of Pal World. Uh, Cookie does know about it. <laughs> because I never told Cookie. But I guess Isabel did. <laughs> yeah, I might do that next week or the following week. Whenever uh, Power World finally gets the update. I just start fresh. I think maybe the very, very first stream I might still do just our normal island. But I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just, during that stream, when they finally do the update, actually just start completely fresh. We might be running with extremely cheaty settings, though. Just so that the pacing of the game goes by really quick. Because Isabel was, uh, did want the uh, easier uh, ones. And a lot of them just get rid of a lot of the grind. Like, you can still grind things like shinies and stuff. My only concern with that is early game will go by, like, instantly. <laughs> if we do that. But it does uh, make a lot of the grinds less tedious. Of getting, like, multiple times the resources. XP rates at, like, double, if not higher. Stuff like that. Though I do hope they eventually release, like, an official proper hard mode for that game. Because I am definitely going to play that, too, whenever that comes out. Because right now, you, you could just play with so many custom settings that, um... There's not really, like, one standard way to play the game. You all promise to be good? No worries, I'm setting a lock on every single one of my chests. <laughs> Though I'm not sure if putting a lock on it stops people from destroying it. I'm not sure how that works. Does it just make your chest invincible? Because I never played with co-op. Also, we're streaming, so I just realized I can't even put a pin on any of my chests. You all will know what the pin is. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Unless I can type it in and it doesn't show it on screen. But if I have to click numbers on screen, it will literally show up on screen. Alright. Oh, we did that, we did that, we did that. Uh, I think the only thing left is Underspire, then. PvP's done for the week. We'll get rank 2 or rank 3 at the absolute worst. We did that. Campaign's finished. Well, there's no campaign to begin with. <laughs> Uh, Clash Trial. Oh, and I didn't do Adventure Board yet. How did I forget Adventure Board, of all things? Especially on a day we got a good one. We get th six brown with a, um... With a deed book. And some gems. Though the deeds are a bit more relevant. But hey, 15 gems are 15 gems. We just did an entire class event for 25. <laughs> Obviously gonna do this for 15. Even the worst gem one is insanely good. It's like 10 gems in under a minute. Which is absurdly good rate. We have to do voice over Discord? Oh gosh. I'm not sure if everyone would have that set up. I haven't done a voice call on Discord for like six years now. <laughs> But yeah, you and I would be, have it set up pretty easily. But I mean like everyone else.
Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, okay, that's everything except uh, Underspire then. Perfect. We'll grab that. Oh, do you share bases in it? Yeah, I don't know how that work. Because I haven't messed around with it. I messed with it a little bit on like day one. And then never touched co-op again since then. So I don't really know too much of how it works either. Even though I did dabble, dabble with it initially. But not enough to really understand what was going on with it. Alright, uh, let's go get our uh, battles in. I think we're on pretty good pacing this week, so we don't need to go anything too crazy here. Should I say that? We're almost double full scouted. Wait. <laughs> Maybe we should go a little deeper. Well, today's what? Thursday? And we're basically halfway there, so yeah, that's fine. I don't think we need to go extra. Because both of those are dead end path. Alright, yeah, let's go. We shouldn't need extra. It'd be very unlikely. After we finish these, this will probably be the last thing we'll need to do then. And then we can focus on Volt Weekend this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe we'll do some verse grinding on stream a little bit, we'll see. But we'll probably just mostly be Paloozas, I'm pretty sure. Because normally how I've been doing Volt Weekends lately is uh, during the day I farm for verses off stream. And then during stream, obviously, we just open all the Paloozas. I don't mind versus farming on stream, though. It's just a lot more repetitive, I feel, personally. <laughs> because you literally just click Dust Devil to auto-win. Over and over and over and over and over again. Not that, uh... <laughs> not that the other thing isn't doing that. But it's doing that with more steps. <laughs> it's just the really standard Iron, um, Iron Hawk team. Like, you know, the triple one. Like, you literally just click one button to win. It's basically a win button. It's not even a cast button. It's literally just a win button. You click it and you auto win. We should do extra for the Nightmare Circus tobacco. Wait, what happened with the Nightmare, Nightmare Circus? Oh, that. <laughs> I remember now. I think we made up for that. Alright, we have left or down. I'm gonna go left. Wait, how far off are we? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's probably not left, but I'm going left. I actually do think down might be it this time. So why am I going left? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's down. Let's go left. <laughs> oh, well, it was... Uh, I was right. It was down. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. Yeah, that's double dead end right over there. You yeah, haven't even unlocked Nightmare Circus yet? Oh, gosh. You're gonna do a video and then never... Uh, felt well enough to do it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I've done that a couple times for things in Gems of War. <laughs> 2018 Best Teams video. <laughs> a few other ones as well over the years. I actually have three videos I've fully recorded and never published. I generally almost never do that. But I have three, like, that were ready to just be sent out and I just never uploaded them. What is this path? Wait, what? I'm so confused. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, never mind. I miscounted. I was going to say that's a seven off, but no, I just miscounted by one. Whoops. <laughs> never mind. That, that checks out. That should be the boss room. Though it can technically still be the merchant. That's most likely the boss room.
Yep, there it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a lantern. I almost forgot. This is for double silver. Definitely don't want to miss that. Honestly, silver is almost hard to get than golds. <laughs> Not actually. But if you're only doing one buff per week, or, you know, the free buff, you're going to have way more gold medals than you have silver medals. Though most weeks we've been doing both, so ours even out a bit more. Oh, there we go, double silver. And technically double epic Volky. Of course, it's mostly done for the double silver. Double extra Volky is just a nice little extra thing. Oh, yeah, I never hand out the second code. Let me go do that. Here you guys go. And definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. Helps out a lot. It's greatly appreciated. And by video, I mean stream. Unless you're watching after the fact, in which case it's a video. <laughs> Whatever one it is. But there you guys go. Enjoy. Oh, what do we need here? We'll take that one over. Why'd I do that? I keep forgetting we even have this King on this team. I could just killed with that. I keep forgetting he can actually physically do damage. Or is this assume he'll do nothing? <laughs> you already beat Diamond Tina Room today? Nice. Oh wow, you're way ahead then. How many torches did he buy if you're already all the way there? He's even with a perfect dungeon, um. That means you have to throw in at least a couple 150s. And by 150s, I mean 300. As in 150, as in buying all three. Because that's pretty expensive. I know, because we've done it a couple times. <laughs> Got really good pathing. Has to be some insane, insane pathing then. Because we've been throwing 150 each day. Like, you know, 150 total. The 50 and the 100 buff. And, um, even if with all of our sigils used, I think there's only, like, 70-something. Oh, you've been doing max torches daily? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright, never mind, that explains everything. <laughs> I was gonna say. Because even, like, perfect, perfect pathing is not getting you that far. Yeah, max torches every day with good pathing definitely will, though. Because, yeah, even if I used all 75 torches, which we are, and had perfect pathing, that's not enough to actually reach the final room on most weeks. Now we'll go this way. Do a double path? Oh wait, which one higher level? We haven't found the door yet. Oh, it is. Nice. That is actually the right way. Nice to see. Oh, how is none of this a cascade? All that area right there, not a single one drops properly. Also, I kind of keep forgetting, even though Stellarix got buffed through the roof, um, the buff that they've done to the other Celestial Dragons is actually still pretty good. Like, this thing's been absolutely tearing it uh, apart this um, Darkstone week. Like, look at how much damage it is compared to Possessed King. It's more than double damage. Though, of course, Possessed King is mostly used for his other value aspects. Not for his AoE. I keep forgetting he even has one because he's not really used much for it. Oh, yeah, we did go over the Guild War discussion. We went over the whole topic yesterday. I didn't bring it up on screen, but I did go over it. 
There's a lot of information we kind of already knew, or kind of speculated on. Like, we didn't really learn anything new, for the most part, from the post, other than it just officially being said. Right this time, which is technically down. Gosh, how many paths do we have? We have six diverging paths now. And not a single one is dead-ended. You got a 98. Nice. Yeah, anything under 100 is really nice these days. We've been getting a lot of over 100 weeks lately. Despite in the past having a lot of 80s. I should have went for Beatrix. Whoops. Whenever Beatrix is on the team and it's not stunned, you should always S the people bullet if you have it. Or, you know, if you're using S of evil team. Otherwise, you're just going to cleanse off whatever you apply to. Which is exactly what she did. No, it transformed! Why would you do such a thing? Alright, one torch left. Do we go right or do we go down? I already know what the answer is. We'll just do it. <laughs> I guess that's a hypothetical question. Oh, this is double dead end. We chose wrong. One, two, three, four. Yep, let's double dead end. Oh, no. I'll come to them later. All right, there we go. I think that's everything. Nice. We are finally ready to go for Vault Weekend in six hours from now. Though I will be sleeping then, but for sometime tomorrow. <laughs> but it does start six hours from now if you're available then. As well as all weekend for three days. But, uh, yeah, campaign, nothing to do there. Event, we already did. Claimed our gems. Raids, we've done every last battle we can. Just didn't claim the loot yet. We're doing pretty good overall for pacing by the end of the week. Underspire, we literally just did. Uh, yeah, that's everything. And Pet Rescue, I don't need whatever this is. Mystic. Hey, right, we're good to go. And, of course, Class Trial, we already did. But anyways, guys, I guess we'll end it there for now. Uh, we will be back tomorrow night, same time as always, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, hour, uh, one hour prior to now tomorrow. Uh, of course, main goal of tomorrow, as well as all weekend, is the Vault Grind. I'll probably mostly be throwing Paloozas on stream. Maybe we'll have some extra codes for a couple things, we'll see. Actually, we'll probably still have Standard Amount now that I think about it. We're actually running a little low. <laughs> but uh, we will have the Easter code soon, too. It's, uh, it'll be on Easter itself. But uh, aside from that, yeah, Vault Weekend this weekend. So we'll be messing with that the entire time, trying to get as many keys as we can. Probably aim for 300 and more so actually focus on Paloozas. Uh, because I'm starting at, let's see, how many Paloozas? My goal for this weekend is to leave with more than 13 verse 2 and 3. While having all the keys that we got along the way. That's the game plan. Oh, so look at this. 64, 64, 14, 14, basically. That's really funny. These are basically both 50 off from our other two that are tied with 64. 64, 64, 14, 14. Essentially. Interesting. But anyways. Uh, da -da -da, just reading back in chat. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -do. Da -da -do -da -do. Do, do, do. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm just reading all the way back in stream. This is making sure. But anyways, <laughs> hope you all have a wonderful week, wonderful weekend, wonderful vote weekend, everyone. And I'll catch you guys soon. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks, Rob.